Welcome back in. Body camera video reveals shocking details about an armed carjacking that ended in a destructive fire in Pierce County. Today, a judge said bail at $250,000 for the suspect in that case, Randy Tipa. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson is at the Pierce County Courthouse where she's learned that Tipa had a very lengthy criminal history prior to the high-speed chase yesterday. Yeah, Pierce County prosecutors say Randy Tipa was previously charged for stealing cars, identities, even eluding officers before. In fact, they say he had two active warrants and was also out on bail for a separate case when he was arrested for armed carjacking yesterday. In. From a street chase to a foot chase, Pierce County deputies tackle their suspect, Randy Tipa, accused of a carjacking at gunpoint. The next case before the court is State versus Randy Tipa. The pursuit that ended in a massive fire along I-5 in Tacoma started here, Orange Gate Park in Pierce County. Detectives say Tipa came out of the woods with a handgun, demanding a woman give up her keys, phone, and purse. This guy randomly robbed someone that he didn't know at gunpoint. He's extremely dangerous. Investigators say the car owner had Apple AirTag devices on the keys and wallet, helping officers track Tipa's every move. They found him with a woman at a shopping plaza in Federal Way, where he tried to use a stolen credit card. Court documents say as he and the woman drove off in the stolen car, several deputies tried to box him in at the parking lot, but Tipa began to rock the Corolla back and forth and managed to create enough momentum to back up over over a curbed flower bed and push one of the patrol cars out of the way. This launched the chase through Federal Way, Fife, and Tacoma, the suspect swerving through traffic as high as 100 miles per hour. Pose a substantial danger to the Pierce County community. This is not only violent behavior, behavior that put members of the Pierce County community, the victim, and law enforcement all at risk of substantial harm. During TIPA's arrest, the extremely hot car sparked a brush fire on the dry grass, fire and heavy smoke spreading fast. The woman passenger trapped in the back seat. The biggest concern at that point was there was a female passenger in the suspect vehicle. Uh, our deputies, along with one Tacoma police officer, were able to pull that woman from the vehicle before it was fully engulfed. And today I met that woman trapped inside the car. She tells me she is still very sick and very shaken from all of that smoke inhalation. She says her life flashed before her eyes during that fire. Now, Tipa faces several charges, including robbery and unlawful possession of a gun. Reporting live in Tacoma, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.